Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. It really is a pleasure to chat. This film is so incredible. It, it's, it grabs you very early on and, and takes you in very unexpected places. What was it like for you as an actor being on the one side of things, I guess, in, in kind of the space opera side of it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's a perfect way of putting it. The fact that it's a space opera, the fact that it's this big film, but at the core of it, it actually has quite a small group of people you focus on. And that gives you time within this space opera to find those characters you can relate to, the circumstances you can relate to, the themes are connection, loss, regret, you know, and then you have bigger themes like our planet, are we looking after it well or not, you know, looking down the barrel of the, the, the entire planet being decimated and having to find a new one, you know, these these smaller themes and bigger themes coexisting within one film is a really, you know, wonderful thing to see in a movie. Did you have a favorite moment that you got to plan it? Because there are some, you, the whole, your whole side of things has some great moments. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does. Um, the spacewalk, I think, was a, a sequence that, uh, you know, I am just so proud to add to my resume. I mean, it is a truly ambitious scene. I think it's beautifully realized. It A lot went into getting it there. For me personally, I involved three months of training here in LA to get strong enough to be able to do all the wire work. And then a lot of stunt rehearsals in the UK, uh, in uh, Shepparton where we shot. Um, and then the, the VFX component and sort of getting your head around that. And it's actually quite an emotional scene as well. Um, because, you know, the wonderful Tiffany Boone, um, you know, gets mortally injured uh, uh, du during that, uh, that sequence. And so, you know, it's, uh, it, 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 it was the sequence that required, that had the most moving parts, I should say. And I'm, I'm thankful that they all came together. And the singing, I, I think the singing really deserves some, some mention as well. <laughs> Was yeah, that yeah, getting, getting to sing Sweet Caroline. I mean, the, the only downside about that scene is it stuck in all of our heads for about a week after we shot it, uh, because each of us had to shoot our portion of singing the song individually. And so we heard that song a fair few times uh, by the time we finished shooting that sequence. But it's one of the more fun moments in the film. What was George Clooney like to work with as a director? Um, it's boring to say, but really wonderful. I wish I could tell you he was a complete nightmare, but that is just not the case. Uh, you know, he, he's, a, he's a truly wonderful human being and, and a great, great, great director. I mean, you know, from Fincher to Nolan on down, they, they can tell you that to do a film of this scale is no joke. You, you know, you have to really know what you're doing. And uh, I think with this film, George has put himself in that echelon of, uh, of world-class um, directors. Do you think, I mean, in, in my head, and this isn't always handled well, but I think in this case it could be, I could see this being the start of something because there obviously is more story to tell at the end. Would you <laughs> love to be part of that? Well, you know, if George is directing, sign me up, um, you know, but also I would, I'd go anywhere to work with Felicity Jones again. She was a complete dream. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you know, the, the film is meant to be a cautionary tale about how close we could be to extinction if we don't change our, our behaviors. And, you know, when we shot the film, it felt like a sort of a far-fetched um, notion. But, you know, post-pandemic, it doesn't feel quite so much. You know, we are in an eventuality right now that was hitherto unforeseen. And it's kind of, I think we're still all shocked and reeling from the fact that this is the state of the world right now and you know uh, that is the case for the people in this film as well they they cannot believe the the state that they they find the planet um so you know there are more parallels now than were the case when we were shooting the film for sure and last thing i'd like to know is you know how how do you think this will be received on that topic alone 
Well, you know, I hope that people get from the film the fact that connection with family, connection with those you love, connection with with those you like um, is is something to not take for granted. You know, we've all been denied that. I should be in a room with you right now talking about this film and um, I should have been able to be in a room again with my cast. You know, I haven't seen them since February when we shot. I've only seen them under these kind of circumstances. That's so crazy um, and so I hope that people uh, watch the film recognize realize and internalize the fact that you know those connections you have in life are to be treasured amazing thank you very much for the time I really appreciate it I appreciate it too thank you